Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for February the 16th, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. In our top news story, Johnson & Johnson's offer prospectus for its pending acquisition of Actelion detailed how a second bidder who emerged late last year revised down its offer, causing talks to fall apart. Reports at the time suggested that Sanofi was the second interested party, although the French drug maker has not confirmed this. According to the documents, the unnamed company proposed a cash offer at a higher price than that then being offered by Johnson & Johnson. However, once Johnson & Johnson said it would not match the bid and pulled out of talks, the unnamed company lowered its offer price and set out different terms. In other news, the FDA approved Valiant Pharmaceuticals Silique to treat adults with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. The injectable IL-17 receptor monoclonal antibody is intended for patients who are candidates for systemic therapy or phototherapy and have failed to respond or have stopped responding to other systemic therapies. In addition, Shire's fourth quarter revenue more than doubled to $3.8 billion, in line with analyst estimates, boosted by the purchase of Baxalta. Net income in the three-month period jumped 63% to $457 million. And finally... Takeda completed its acquisition of Ariad Pharmaceuticals for $24 per share in cash. CEO Christoph Weber said the addition of Ariad's innovative targeted therapies and R&D capabilities strengthens and diversifies our oncology business. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Are you able to keep up with all the news and views in the biosimilars market? First Word's Biosimilar Index is the only dedicated biosimilar and non-comparable biologics intelligence tool available. Get ahead of your competition and learn more today.